All right, guys. We are going into our second game for today. That will be the San Diego Spartans and the Philadelphia Phantoms. Both are Legacy League teams. And I actually, the overlay looks pretty nice. <laughs> actually works. And as the players are joining, we're just waiting for a couple seconds. Um, and actually, that is everyone, I think. So, join and join. And let's head into game one. No, the Spartans have the thing on the right, like the scoreboard thing on the right side. It's backward. What do you guys think of the, um, what do you guys think of the overlay other than it being swapped sides? Okay, let me get to casting the game. Um, Shadow puts it up to the middle, and he actually gets it in. Phantoms, he just got it by the Phantoms with a nice aerial play. Wait, Jam, are you on mobile? Are you mobile? Second kickoff of the game, and Phantoms win it, but it goes to the Webro. Bayonets takes a nice aerial shot towards the net, but Phantoms there to clear it. Wall play, but it gets off, and this is Legacy League and Tier One team, so I'm guessing uh, they're like around high plat. Yeah, Jim, since you're mobile, you can't see it. I don't know why the overlay system doesn't work for mobile. And a nice stop from Melvin. Shadow's gonna try to bring it. And a Bayonets hits it to his corner, trying to get it away. Gary's there to pop it out of the center. Gary sticks with the ball. He Phantom was there. It's kind of funny. Because... Wait, is his name Phantom? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, Phantom is playing against the Phantom's team. Storm facts. He could have. It's fine. You'll have next chance. Webro tries to take it down, and Abanez clears it to the side. Webro is just playing on the wall. Playing it to the wall. Hits the backboard and bounces to the corner. Gary stops it in the middle. It's still in the middle, and... Wait, I'm just noticing the three... The three, what's it called, the bar things? 
like best of three things at the scoreboard. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> it's still in the Phantom's corner as Shadow is bumped to hit it towards the side. Um, Gary, Melvin gets a big clear right in the Phantom though. Bayonets hits it towards the middle and it's popped up. Is anybody going? Shadow goes for it and gets it over. Melvin stops it at mid and still spinning. Good shot. And actually that worked out for center. And what a finish from Gary. Way to be there with an aerial strike. Just a small mistake from Phantoms, which costed them the goal. And apparently not Shadow's guest account was in this lobby. A Bayonaise, while I was talking, just gets a goal right off the kickoff. Well played. Nice shot placement right over them. Bounces the Phantom's defense. Bayonets with a good clear. Gets a second touch on it and is left to Webro, who hits it in the corner and it pops back out to middle. Takes a shot and a Bayonets. What a play from Melvin in the Bayonets. Good to position for Melvin to be there. And then the Phantoms just come out with the strike. Melvin puts it back in the middle, and oh my gosh, Gary's there. This just looks chaotic. Phantoms with an amazing offense right now. We saw this preseason matchup with the Phantoms. Spartans and that time the Spartans swept the Phantoms, but we're seeing a completely different game here. Gary hits it over to Melvin, but Phantom breaks it up. Webro puts it on the ground, takes it to the wall, trying to get a center here, beats Gary, but a Benes is still there. As the ball floats into the red corner. And we're coming near the end of game one with the Phantoms up by three. Can they get a goal to bring back their momentum? And that will do it. Game one for the Phantoms. And this is our intermission screen. Um, I believe the chat works. <coughs> yeah, it does actually work. Yo, Gummy, how do you like the overlays? Yeah, it's pretty cool because it works for console and like I'm impressed. Didn't really think we could get an opportunity like this. The best of three thing, I think they just made it like a series mutator. That's why it pops up there. I didn't do it like they set it up. And we're heading to game. Two. 
But yeah, Gummy, you know how this, it was like, apparently the lobby was, um, made to like, the team's things were swapped. Okay, yeah, the best of three thing does work. I didn't know that that setting. Oh, uh, well, I think it probably came in the new update. Shadow hits it up and is going for the air dribble. He has a chance and he puts it through. Almost, the Phantoms almost got the clear on that one. But what a play from Shadow. What a play. Showing that he can take the ball through the air. Brings the lead again to the Spartans. Good kick off from both sides. Floats to Gary who hits it over to their corner. Melvin's there and it's dropped down to Bayonets. Good pressure from Phantom. And Webber's there to make the clear. Spark back into the corner. It goes over, and Melvin's are, Melvin is there to clear it. From based on last game, I would think that the Spartans need to keep their offensive pressure like more consistently. Phantom goes up for this, and a good 50 from a Bayonets. Shadow trying to get another one through. Webro is on the goal post and a bayonet puts it right by him. As we head into the third kickoff of this game. Melvin and pass to Abanez. Abanez again takes a block. Gary gets the hit, but it doesn't go much. And what a play. <laughs> Good clear from Shadow, but Melvin's still there. He's bringing him back. Um, on rankings. I'm trying to think. I don't. I think Shadow or like the Spartans are at zero points in standings, but like the Phantoms are at eight points, which makes them like the top of the uh division. Nothing with the good clear. Melvin sending it up, goes flying, oh, just missed the second tap. Bandage pass it to Gary, Gary floats it and just hits the crossbar on the backboard. Melvin's there for another chance, he goes up and just missed. Phantoms are putting good pressure here. They just needed to keep it. Gary with a nice block. Goes over Phantom. Goes Webro. Still on the Spartan side. But a Bayonet sends it through. And it's in the middle, and Gary just missed his opportunity. Melvin is playing it back, and Shadow picks it up. And Gary still gets a block. Good save. What a shot from Melvin. Just puts it on net. The Spartans couldn't even get back. The Phantoms have really good offense and have definitely improved from preseason.
Webbro just goes by it. Phantom hits it back to the Phantom side. Shadow brings it towards center, but can't do much as he goes off the ball. Banes with a solid clear on the corner, but the Spartans hold it there. Webro goes, puts it over. It's on the backboard and just down. Melvin tries to get another center here. It's there. Will he do it? Gary puts it in. What a play from the Phantoms. Really showing how it's... Good 50-50 kickoff from both teams. Phantom puts it over, but... They're not really able... The Spartans are not able to make an offensive attack. They only get the one... Oh, what a cutoff from a Bayonets. Gives time to take the clear. Gets back on it, too. Floating in the center as Phantom puts it over. But Gary with a nice block. Phantom's trying to get it through again. Oh, just missed. But they were down by two. <laughs> and Phantoms take the series two to zero. Now... This is match point. Will we see a sweep? Both teams are doing really good. It's just that the Phantoms have been putting really good pressure. And the Spartans have not been able to block them yet like offensively they have had a couple but they've left a bunch of open shots and, or like missed where then the phantoms were able to cover it spartans need to get more attacks and try to play a better position or like a possession game gary left the match there's some, let me see if there's any issues. And the teams have joined other than Gary who were missing. Are they 2v3? They probably will be then. Let me check with what they're doing. Well, let's see if um, the Phantoms are able to hold this game while being. And actually, never mind, while I'm speaking of it, Gary joins, so everything's all good. Okay, so Bayonets hits it over to the Spartans. Webro's there to take the clear and gets it past Gary. Pops it in the middle, but Bayonets hits it back. Phantom gets the ball towards midfield, but it's returned by the Phantom. Gleads into Bayonets while Shadow is there for another clear. Floats into midfield over to Phantoms. Phantom <laughs> is there for another block. Shadow trying to set up the air dribble, but gets interrupted and then gets the hook shot and it goes through. What a play from Shadow. Always 
somehow is able to pull off the first goal. The Spartans. Benes hits it and goes. Phantoms get a touch on it, but it goes over him. Gary does not hit the wall. Phantom gets the ball and Melvin stops it in the midfield. What a block. Returns to the Spartan side. Gary's still putting on the pressure. And Gary gets a shot off, but it was so slow, Phantom could stop it. Shadow trying the offensive attack again. Tries to get by, but no, he stopped to get. He's stopped to Gary. Abanez goes for the center, but it's a little too over. Webro bringing it back, and Aban uh, hits it right into Abanez. Phantom goes off, hits the corner, and it's floated back to the middle. Barnes have two players near it. Can they make something out of this? Flies over and Phantom hits it to the side. Shadows bring it again, but he's stopped by Bayonet. This is the longest lead the Spartans have held, and this should be the way they should be playing if they want to continue the series. Spartans trying to get another offensive attack. Shadow gets it through. He's trying to get the center, but a triple commit save from the Phantoms. Gary, bring on the offensive attack. They have all players there. Melvin's on the opposite side of the ball. Phantom hits it to mid. He brings it over, and it's floating towards the goal. He gets the tap, and he takes the second goal. This is completely different than we saw from the Spartans, this series. Gary gets a kickoff and brings it to the Spartans, but the Spartans are doing much better on the defense and they're able to clear the ball. Phantom tosses it back. Phantom goes back again for the ball, trying to get the center. It gets past Gary, but Melvin's there to clear it. Goes off the corner, back into mid. And as the time ticks down, looks like the Spartans will be getting game three. And that does end it. Game three winner, Spartans. The series is now one to two. Could we see a reverse sweep here? As we head into game four, what new will we expect or will it be the same as last time? Will the Phantoms be able to take this away or will they head into a game five? Straight into the fan Phantom. Phantom goes up but little too late takeoff so he hits it back shadow walks it to the center and Gary tries to put a shot on net but Weber is there for the save shadow playing the ball up trying to keep the offense and Abanez gets the clear gets a pass to Spartans put in the middle with Melvin trying to get Melvin does get the center 
Is are there any phantoms there? Oh, Shadow with a nice clear over the phantoms. Just missed the net. He goes back up for this and gets a better shot. Good angle from Shadow. Gets this by both phantoms who are in the net. Shadow again. Doing what he's been doing. Getting the first goal in every game. By the way, chat, we have Nightbot set up so you can do commands with him like command Discord, command Instagram, um, command commands, and you can see a bunch of stuff. As the ball floats right across the Spartans center, Shadow hits it down to Phantoms. He's really, the Spartans are really keeping the pressure. Like they were told. Shadow gets it by, well, gets it by Gary, but over. Sent right in the middle with a couple bumps. Webro's there to make the clear. It's popped right in the middle, and Shadow capitalizes on this net. Community. The Spartans turning the tables. Melvin picks the ball up on kickoff and is right in the shadow. Gary trying to bring it to the center. Abana is shadowing Gary and goes for the shot and J Melvin just misses the net. So close. Benes goes, gets a commit over him, bounces to center, and Phantom misses it, uh, clear, but the shot was just off post. A Benes and Phantom both on the wall, it's popped down in front, but the Phantoms were too close to the net to take this chance. Gary with boost trying to play on the wall. Does get it by two people. Gets it by the third, but he doesn't have boost. He can't continue. Good 50 from a bayonet. trying to keep the attack. Shadow with an open chance. And it looks like he will take it. He does take it. For goal number three for the Spartans. The Spartans are really changing this. With two minutes left, will the Phantoms be able to come back? Or will the Spartans take it to game five? The Bayonets hits it in the corner and it goes back over. Right where it came from. Shadow goes ahead but leaves it. And now he's going up but Bayonets gets the ball over him. Phantom brings it towards Phantom side. With... Melvin with the powerful clear sends it right to the Spartans. Phantom gets a touch over on it and it sends it to his mid but Shadow is there to clear him up. Abane is with just a shot little over the net. Melts the pressure and hits it to the corner. A quick lag there. Good shot from Webber but Melvin was there to make the save. Shadow puts it back up. He is spinning, trying to get it, and the Spartans take it out. Webber bringing the ball again on the offense. Team bump with a demo. Almost. Abenes got that. My English. <laughs> Shadow bring it to his mid, 
Leaves it, and Abanez picks up on it, but Abanez does not get the shot on target. Melvin tries to keep the pressure by leaving it there. Gary goes up for it, but doesn't get it. Shadow puts it back to the Phantom side, under 20 seconds. Are we going to see another game for the Spartans? Looks like it. 10-9. 8 as the clock ticks down. The Spartans are securing another game closer to their victory. It's possible we may see a reverse sweep here. Who will take this game? Both teams equal chance, but the Spartans coming off with momentum. Having a chance to reverse sweep the Phantoms. Sorry. And we see the first kickoff of the last game. Sha shadow. Uh, um, not Shadow. We were spectating Shadow. Webero gets a clear out of this. That Phantom puts it over to Shadow. Shadow's trying to bring it up on the wall. Goes off for an air dribble. He keeps it, but it's too far off. Wait, let me change the title. Okay, and I guess just missed. <laughs> Gary took the goal, first goal. And this is actually... The first time we've seen the Phantom score first in the series. By the way, guys, um, we do have channel points, so we do, we could do a couple things. But we don't have any emotes, so it kind of gets rid of three of the options. I'm going to work on making the emote. And Gary puts in the second goal. Spartans defense just like that faded Melvin wins the kickoff The Venice puts it over gets us tries to get the center, but it's blocked Webro gets it and stopped by Gary Melvin puts it back up in the corner Phantom gets it over, and Phantom puts it in the net. Good shot placement. Gary was just short of getting there. And this game has been closer than ever. Phantom puts it around his net. He clears it out, but what is this? Benish tries to get another net or er, goal, but it was really small and was cleared. Puts it back in center. Team pinch right over into the Phantom's area. Phantom goes up and hits it back, but Wildbro was there to pick it up. Shadow's going back for boost, and Phantom. Need 
Their phantoms are on the offensive attack. They have a goal. All they need to do is hold the lead. But we still got more than half the game left. Phantom puts Phantoms put it back over. Gary gets the touch in the middle. Melvin's trying to get to the other side, but Webro intercepts the pass and takes it right down the middle for a goal. Good shot. And the series or the game is tied up again. Two to two in the final match with two minutes twenty seconds left. With both teams having two games in the series. Everything is two. Gary takes it to midfield. But stopped by Phantom. The Benes picks it up. And it's getting the pass to middle. But nobody's there from the Phantoms. Gary gets a nice stop. And hits it over. Trying to get the center. Spartans double commit and Phantom clears it out of the way. Melvin tries to put it, he does get it over. But Phantom gets back to clear, going for the corner, trying to get the center. He steals their boost and is headed back. Shadow stops to Benes. Back over. Melvin takes it by them. Melvin going. Melvin gone. He puts it through the net. Gets by all of the Spartans. What a play. See the kickoff. Sends the ball to... The Spartans defense. Bennett gets a stop. Weber is there to save it. Gary goes up. Just, the ball just gets by him. Weber picks the ball up. And Bennett is there to stop the ball. Bennett goes to the middle. And stopped again to Phantom. Or er, Phantom. With the clock ticking down and the Phantom having one goal lead in the final match. Never mind, it's two. Elite Melvin, what a shot. Takes it right off the wall and sends it over their heads. Pop bins. And the game is slipping away from the Spartans. Not over yet though. The benefit of ha losing in a 3-2 match is that you get one point though. So that's at least good. The Spartans will get one. I'm not saying that's good, but like at least that's what they have. Shadow gets it over. Bandage jumps up. And good block by Phantom. Trying to keep it. Eight seconds left. Looks like the game could and will go to the Phantoms. GG's everybody. What a game. Phantoms do end up taking the game. 3-2 to two in the series. Alright guys, well... That'll do it for this series, and that'll do it for today, as we don't have any more games to see. So, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.